Update now. We've learned seven people were arrested after a fight broke out on Block Island on the Block Island Ferry last night. Rhode Island State Police confirming two people suffered minor injuries. One person was taken to the hospital with a face laceration. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live from Narragansett with the developing details. Anita. Well, Mike, ferries have been coming and going here at Galilee. Crowds getting off the ferry uh, from Block Island as business as usual. But the crowds coming off the ferry last night, it was a much different scene. They arrived to dozens of police officers here because of a fight broke out on a late night ferry that was added to the schedule because of the massive crowds on Block Island. A Coast Guard boat moved into action, pulling up to a moving Block Island ferry as it was making the 13 mile trip back to Narragansett. The officers called in to help after a fight broke out on the ferry seen jumping on board. The company that runs the Block Island ferry said more security was already in place because of the busy holiday, but more were needed to get the situation under control. 12 News law enforcement analyst and former head of the Rhode Island State Police, Stephen O'Donnell, speaking to the police response. We're watching armed police officers on a moving police boat getting onto a moving boat a ferry is I've nothing I've ever seen. The ferry ride proved chaotic. This viewer video showed a man with what appears to be a bloody rag in his face getting aid from people on board. These seven people were arrested, according to state police, ranging in age from 20 to 36. They face various charges from disorderly conduct to obstructing an officer. Two people had minor injuries. The ferry fight happened after an already busy day on the island. State police say they had additional troopers on hand because of large crowds expected at a reggae festival at Ballard's Beach Club. This video captures a fight that happened there around 5 p.m. State police say they responded to Ballard's an hour and a half later for a disturbance. This man was arrested during that incident. A woman who was at the music festival says it was a hectic scene. It was, it was way too many people, um, rough. You didn't feel safe. Police have not said if the fight scene here is connected to what happened on the ferry. And I'm told by the state police there was not a stabbing or shooting on board last night's ferry when this occurred. I did reach out to Ballard's for comment, but did not hear back. Live in Narragansett, Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Just in, the new Shoreham Town Council has scheduled a meeting for Thursday following last night's fight on the Block Island Ferry. It was first breaking last night at 10 over on Fox Providence. State police tell us seven people were arrested and two people were hurt in the brawl. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni begins our team coverage from Narragansett. Well, it was a typical day at the Block Island Ferry Terminal here in Narragansett, but it was a much different story last night with a huge police response after a fight broke out on an unscheduled ferry added due to overcrowding. On the 13 mile ride from Block Island to Narragansett, a Coast Guard boat approached the rear of a ferry while it was still in motion. Officers jumped on board to respond to a fight that broke out. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell speaking to the police response. They're going heavy handed in the right reasons where they have automatic weapons. They don't know because so many different reports come in from social media. This viewer video shows the chaos that followed. A man holds what appears to be a bloody rag to his face, getting aid from multiple people on board. The Rhode Island State Police say these seven people were arrested, ranging in age from 20 to 36, all facing various charges from disorderly conduct to obstructing an officer. Two people had minor injuries. That happened after an already busy day on the island. State police said they had additional troopers on hand because of large crowds expected at a reggae festival at Ballard's Beach Club. This video captures a fight that happened there around 5 p.m. State police say they responded to Ballard's an hour and a half later for a disturbance. This man was arrested during that incident. This woman says she was at the music festival Monday night. It was body on body. I love reggae music and you couldn't find the music. Police have not said if the fight scene here is connected to what happened on the ferry. The company that runs the ferry said in a statement, Interstate Navigation acknowledges the poor behavior of several passengers on our departing ferry as per our protocols when anticipating a heavy volume of holiday travel, added security measures were put in place with the assistance of state and local police. Now, the state police tell me there was not a stabbing or a shooting on board, but they did not go into details on what led up to that altercation. I did reach out to Ballard's for comment, but did not hear back. In Narragansett, Anita Buffoni, 12 News. 
Anita, thank you. And 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera talked to a business owner on Block Island about what happened last night. Adriana continues our in-depth coverage with the business owner's reaction. Those events Monday are the talk of the town, but one Block Island store owner wants people to know there's more to Block. A day after a fight broke out on a ferry out of Block Island, people still flocked to New Shoreham looking to cool off. Big events kept the island busy over the long weekend. Store owner Susan Milner said despite being calmer than she expected, some partygoers still ventured into town. Milner said she closed her shops early when things started to get tense at 8 p.m. Um, a couple of the drunk patrons were getting into town and kind of going into some of the local bars and a couple came into the shop, not too many. The events on the ferry concern Milner, who said it's unusual. If somebody had gotten hurt, and it's a very bad reputation for the island, that's not what the whole island is like. Milner said the ferry is safe and that yesterday's incidents are due to a few bad apples. And Milner told me she's grateful state police are on the island providing support to New Shoreham PD. In Narragansett, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.